So you've heard of the Teachers' Council, right? Yeah. The group claiming to represent teachers? Yeah, the, the, the Teachers' Council, yeah. Well, they're doubling their fees. Why is that then? Well, they're moving to an annual registration process. Oh. Hmm? What was it before? Well, it used to be every three years. Right. So now teachers are going to have to apply every year? Well, that's right. They'll have to pay more. Well, it costs more to do registrations every year, doesn't it? Oh. Mm. Why don't they do it every five years then? Well, that would work for the profession. Well, I mean, teachers are... Professionals. Trustworthy, yeah. high integrity, role models, good with chalk. But it wouldn't work for the bureaucracy. Oh. So the Teachers' Council have proven how valuable they are by doing registrations every year mm. and charging teachers more for it. Mm. No. Oh, and the government. They're also charging the government more. How's that then? Well, in doing registrations every year, yeah. well, they're tripling their productivity, aren't they? Well, they're, they're making themselves more important. Well, it's a vital service. Is it? Well, they ensure the credibility of the entire teaching profession. Do they? Yeah. How's that done then? Well, they stamp forms. Like the customs? No. Oh. Detailed teacher registration forms. Where do they get them? Well, from the teachers. Oh, so the teachers do all the work? Teachers follow an extensive process where they demonstrate their competency against the professional teaching standards. Oh. Mm. What? Teachers fill out all the forms and then they provide evidence, don't they? And then the teachers' council verify the evidence. No. no. Other senior teachers do. So teachers fill out the paperwork. Yeah. And then other teachers sign the paperwork to verify that the paperwork was filled out correctly. Yeah, you know, and sign all the forms. So what does the teachers' council do? Well, they, uh, they check the forms, don't they? They check them. And that's quite expensive, is it? Well, they do need a place, you know, to, to check the forms. Oh, right. And they got that. Uh, they got that nice office, haven't they? In in in, in Wellington, in in the CBD. Not cheap in the CBD. <laughs> no, and they got all those uh, executives with those executive salaries that they pay. What, like a teacher's salary? Well, no, oh. no, more than double that one. Oh. And then there's furniture and equipment, IT, oh, and all, all that promotion that they do. Like those nice videos explaining the rise in fees. Yeah, well, they're not cheap, are they? No, no. It, well, it's not like the Teachers' Council could do their job out of some crappy prefab on the, the edge of a school field. I mean... No, 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 no. They're not all teachers, are they? No, no, no. But they'll help teachers. They will provide yeah. educational leadership yeah. and professional development for the teachers. Who asked for that, then? Well, they did. What, the teachers? No. Oh. The teachers' council. So the teachers' council want to provide leadership and education for teachers. That's right. But no one's asked them for it. Not no one. And they're charging teachers for it. Well, and the government, they're charging the government too. So the teachers not doing a good job then? No, they are. Of course they are. But the Teachers' Council would help them teach better. And I suppose there's nowhere else the teachers could go for that, that specialist development and, and training. What well, is, uh, you know, there's a bunch of courses which the universities oh. and the other specialist providers offer. But they're not very good. Well, no, they're world class, aren't they? Oh. You couldn't do any better. But the Teachers' Council can do it better. Look, their professional leadership yeah. will ensure their value yeah. to teachers and the government. Okay. So they're not just checking forms. They're offering courses competing with world-class specialist educators that nobody asked for. Well, yeah, but 
Well, they've got to use, you know, put that world-class office, they've got to put it to good use, don't they? In the Wellington CBD. Yeah, and they've got to give their executives, their highly paid executives something to do, don't they? Well, they are highly paid. Yeah. Oh, and there's all those podcasts and videos and surveys, you know, those expensive ones, they've got to use them somehow. Yeah, yeah. I, I imagine they'll need more fees. You know, teachers should really be grateful. I, I, I can't imagine why they'd complain. Blinking teachers. Never happy, are they? You just can't please some people.